So I'm manufacturing lead, which basically means that me and my team, we work together to manually build all the internal and external airframe components of the rocket. So we started in August and we had everything complete and built by December. So we spent the rest of the month December, like when we're off of school, sanding, doing patchwork, fixing every component. And then in the spring semester is when we integrate all the systems. We are going to be doing our full assembly of it. Right now we're just trying to get all of our bits and pieces together before the full fit check. So we've put countless hours into putting this rocket together um, today. Hopefully a couple hours. Uh, might take a little more just with uh, the hiccups that we'll probably come upon, but this is why we're meeting now to get all the problems out of the way. And then um, hopefully Saturday will go smoothly. So. What are you guys doing right now? We are trying to pressure seal this. So this is going right there. This is the bulk plate that my CO2 ejection is going to create pressure with. So Eddie has the nose cone ejection system right now. It's already embedded in the nose cone. We're just trying to make sure that this section is, one, not going to let the CO2 escape, and two, come out with the nose cone. So we compete in the 10K COTS category, which basically means that we want to hit a desired altitude of 10,000 feet. This is our air brake system. Um, so we target an apogee above uh, the actual target. So this rocket's supposed to go to about 11,000. And uh, instead of targeting 10,000, we use the air brakes to, to change that apogee mid-air to 10,000. Another thing that we want to perfect this year was our nose cone deployment system. So last year we had a glider come out and we ejected our nose cone off. This year we're also going to eject our nose cone, but we're going to have a rover roll out. So this year's payload was a rover that is designed to deploy chili seeds in the New Mexico desert. It's going to be taking data with onboard sensors, so UV, air pressure, humidity, and then it's all going to be saved on the micro SD card where it'll later be inputted into our computer and it'll determine the survivability of the chili seed out there in the desert. Like I've done this so many times, but still, I'm always like, did I do everything right? Did I do yeah. everything right? To make sure that the pressure's good? Yeah, so that the, the drug actually cools. Yeah. Like, there's something wrong. Oh, I have no idea why. You're ready to go. In five, four, three, two, one. Blue <laughs> <laughs>